Hello again, and welcome back to Educator.com's Introduction to PHP course. In today's lesson, we're going to be covering the topic of error handling in PHP. Uh, specifically, we're going to talk about how PHP um, handles errors uh, by classing, classifying them according to different levels and how it um, reports them. We're going to talk about uh, the error reporting function, which is a way of managing how errors are reported in PHP. We're going to talk about a number of different uh, configuration directives within PHP INI that um, affect how errors are handled. And we're also going to introduce a new operator uh, known as the error control operator that relates to um, error handling in PHP. Uh, so basically, uh, PHP it classifies errors according to different levels of severity. Um, and then uh, what you can do is set uh, a level that you set the level of severity that you want to be made aware of for certain error. So you might want to be made aware of only um, severe errors, or maybe you want to be made aware of errors and warnings. Um, PHP allows you to set that level, and um, it also allows you uh, to set how you want to be made aware of it. Um, for example, like uh, you can have it output to your browser, you could have it output to a log file. Um, and the way that you set the level that you want to um, see in PHP is using this directive called error underscore reporting. It's a configuration directive in php.ini. And what it does is it globally sets the error level uh, that you want reported for all of your um, scripts running in a particular PHP uh, configuration. And basically what you do is you set that um, configuration directive to a number of different um, error, error level constants, which can be found at this link here. Um, if we actually go and look at uh, this page, um, it's, it's, it's part of the PHP website, um, you can see that there are different constants, which are, um, for example, the first one defined as E underscore error. The constants are um, integer values. Um, and then PHP has different constants for different types of error. Uh, different levels of errors. For example, E errors is for fatal runtime errors. Uh, so if you specify E reporting, or excuse me, error reporting directive to be set to this, then all the fatal runtime errors will be reported. Um, there's other ones like E warning, which is sort of a step down uh, from error. It's maybe non-fatal errors, but something that's um, that you should know about. Uh, e notice is kind of like the next level down, which is um, uh, even less severe errors that happen. And as you can see, there's a number of different configuration directives, uh, or excuse me, a number of different constants you can use in the error reporting configuration directive um, to set the level of errors that you want to see. Uh, down here, just to mention, um, is E underscore all, which is, uh, basically sh shows all the different errors and warning, uh, warnings, and it's commonly used in development because you want to be made aware of any errors that are occurring. Um, the way that the error reporting function works excuse me, the error reporting directive works is um, by using what's known as performing bitwise operations on these different, um, these different error constants. Uh, so for example, if we go, and I'll explain what that means in a sec, if we go and look at the php.ini file and we go down, scroll down a ways and find the error reporting um, directive, um, this is an example of a bitwise operation on two error reporting constants. We have the error reporting constant E all and the error reporting constant E strict. Um, this right here is known as a, the bitwise or operator. And basically what it does is it says um, we want to see all of, report all errors and then also in addition any um, messages that are reported by E strict. And E strict kind of provides additional information um, to you that's not necessarily errors that's useful during development. Um, we're not going to go over bitwise operators in detail here. Um, and if you want to find out more information, we're going to include a link uh, in the quick notes to the um, bitwise operators on php.net. Um, but <clears throat> you can also find uh, within php.ini file in this error handling and logging section, it actually talks a lot about the different error level constants that are available. And it talks about how you can use the um, these bitwise operators uh, to um, basically customize how what error levels you want to be um, made aware of. So for example, um, this right here is um, the E all uh, constant and it's um, running a bitwise operation known as the AND operation um, on the uh, bitwise operation not of the E notice um, variable. What that's is a is constant. What that's essentially saying is I want to be made aware of all errors except I, and this means to not, 
um, I don't want to be made aware of errors um, that are of the notice level. So it's saying everything but the notice level. These are examples of um, how you can use these sort of bitwise operators. Uh, so actually, if we go and look at a script we've written um, called errorhandling.php, it's going to uh, contain an error, um, basically, or it's going to generate an error. And in this case, we've created a variable called divide by zero, and we're going to have it um, be the result of the oper a division operation that divides by zero, which in PHP and most programming languages is not allowed, and, and it's going to generate a warning. So if we have the script and we go and take a look at it, uh, let me just refresh it. Uh, you can see that we get a warning, um, this is of an error level warning, uh, saying division by zero occurred on line 14. And if we go back and look at errorhandling.php, see on line 14 we divided by zero. Well, if we want to, uh, for example, configure our our PHP set up so that it doesn't show um, warning messages, which are configured um, up by the E underscore warning constant. We can edit our PHP INI file um, to change that. And what we're going to do is we're going to say we want to show all the errors, except we don't, and this is the not operator, we don't want to see E warning errors. So if we save this, and then uh, because we're changing the configuration file, we need to restart Apache. So if we go ahead and restart Apache, and view our page again, uh, you should see because this was, this error is of the e-warning type, uh, it should disappear. And as you can see, it does. So let me actually just go back and change that back to the default value, or the default value that we've been using for development. And this is the default value um, that XAMPP sets in PHP INI. And we go ahead and restart um, Apache to make sure that the error shows up again. And we refresh the page. Uh, we can see that we get the warning again. 